average match attendance in China and the growth of average match attendance it has been absolutely incredible. And obviously, you know, of course, the population is far, far larger than many other countries, but uh, numbers for last year were higher than, you know, very traditionally, um, or countries that are traditionally very linked to football, like even Italy or France, the average match attendance was higher. Um, and I think it also debunks the myth that uh, some experts in football, especially I think from Europe, still see China uh, a bit of as, a, as just a place where used to be stars kind of go and retire. But actually, when you look at the numbers, the, the Chinese Super League is really exploding. Um, could you tell us from an investment point of view how you're looking at this trend, what it means to you? Sure, yeah. I mean, contrary to most people's common sense, people think, oh, when you come to China, we look at football markets. And Maybe look at Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, uh, those first year cities. But in fact, in those uh, first year cities, there are too many choices. People there are I mean, facing numerous kind of too many choices, sports uh, choices. So actually, if you look at the attendance level, it's some of the, I, I wouldn't even call it second tier cities, but more inland cities actually have, uh, have a greater dedication for loyal families. For example, one of the, um, one of the football clubs, uh, actually it's not even a CSL club, it's a second division club. Just, oh, just last weekend, the, uh, they, they played one of the semi-final matches to, to, get, to get further promoted from a third division to a second division. And the attendance, the, the attendance level there was uh, 40,000. Uh, 40, For third division football club, 